Welcome back to the channel and setting up Google Classrooms. This is not probably my own original idea. I don't take credit for it. I saw it somewhere. I held it for possibilities, didn't use it a couple of cycles through. And then this last semester, I decided to try it out and I don't know why I waited so long. So I'm gonna put this out here as a possible hack for anybody else if you're looking for a way to save yourself some time. If you are somebody creating multiple sections of class, you want to consider how you're doing that. I'm teaching high school classes and I'm gonna send out the same kinds of information several times to all six sections of whatever it is I'm teaching. Three of these, one of those, one of something else. I'm gonna send them all the syllabus. I'm gonna put resources for typing games. I'm gonna put in Google Meet expectations, especially this school year as we're doing so much at Google Meet and some very basic things. And so instead of creating a class and adding all those links and announcements and pieces, and then creating another class and adding all those links and pieces and announcements, you can create what we call, what you can call whatever you want to, what I called a master class. And that master class is where I'm going to put in all of those things. So here's a piece of material that's typing testing games. Here's Chromebook shortcuts, because we've got new Chromebooks. Here's meet expectations. Here's a link to the textbook. Here's a piece that's the syllabus. I can go into classwork and set up the chapters. I can do all of the basic things that I need to do. This would be English 12. Here's the first chapters. Here's all of this stuff. And then when I have it all like I want it and I'm ready to actually create first hour, I can go to this and I can copy that class and I'm going to name it whatever it is that makes sense. Maybe it's the subject, maybe it's the class period, maybe it's the year, maybe it's some combination of those things in here. And then I can say copy and it's going to take that master class with all the links and all the announcements and all the basic beginning stuff that I wanted every class to have or all three sections of this class to have. And there they are. I don't have to duplicate that work. The more generic you make your class, the more different ways that you can copy it. But the more specific you are, maybe the more useful it could be for you. So there's an idea. It really saved me a lot of time this past semester as we were starting up fall of 2020 and chaos and everything changing all the time. My students knew that they were going to get these things and they didn't know I made a master class. It, that wasn't, didn't affect them but it let me streamline the process and think through what sections I needed to have, what I even put all of chapter one's assignments in here and the first weeks and resources, and it was all set up and done for me. So as I go forward into second semester, I'm gonna take out or edit some of these topics. I can rename them and make sure that this works exactly like I wanted to and fine tune it just a little I'm going to send them the same resources, very possibly, with a new added twist. And it'll look like I spent all kinds of time doing it. Really, I didn't. I set up a master class. And you should, too. Enjoy.